So good afternoon you guys, it's officially the first Christmas vlog of the year. I am so 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 excited for this video, I just absolutely love this time of the year and hopefully this is going to be a good vlog. So I've got my iced caramel latte, I probably should be having a hot caramel latte um, but I just really fancied a nice coffee I don't have them very often I was up quite late last night editing at my previous vlog and I don't think I went to bed until about 2 or 3 a.m that video is going to be going up today and this year I do want to have at least three festive videos apologize that the lighting isn't the best it's quite dull and dark outside today and it's only after 12 o'clock but you guys know what it's like in the winter i've got bella laying on my bed cleaning herself she's having a pretty good cleaning session there bless her so in today's video i want to unbox um a few parcels with you guys so in my last video i unboxed one big parcel which had all my gift wrapping and also all my christmas like sweets and chocolates for everyone and in today's video i'll be showing you guys some more gifts that I've got for people basically. I haven't got everyone's gifts just yet. I think I'm waiting on another body shop parcel and I might end up picking up a few more little bits and bobs for people but I've kind of done all my Christmas shopping. I'm going to be doing a haul of prezzies today basically. Um, I also want to decorate my room. I didn't decorate my room last year but this year I really want to decorate my room. Um, I don't go too crazy with the decorations. It's just a couple of bits and bobs. I don't like anything too tacky. I'm not a fan of like red decorations and stuff like that i go for silver and white minimal something to match my room let me just pop this down because this is making my hands quite cold you would have seen this candle in my last vlog and i've almost finished burning all of it luckily i've ordered some more candles these are all the bits i'm going to be um showing you as you can see we've got some body shop i'm waiting for another body shop parcel we've got some lush here's my candles and I've got a bag of um, some bits that I got from Boot. There's a few goodies to share with you guys. And I finally got Bella a feeding mat because, oh, she's just demonstrating how it works because she, she's such a messy eater. Um, with the dry food, it's not too bad. It's the wet food. It just gets all over the floor and it's all in my carpet. And I've been meaning to get her a feeding mat for a while. I just couldn't find one that I liked. And then I found this one on Amazon and it's really nice and it's the perfect pink as well. Um, I wish it was just a little bit bigger, um, but it is doing the job. There's a little Christmas gonk that I've seen by the brand Rosewood and I really want to get one for her because it's just the cutest little Christmas toy. And we do have some at work because I work in a pet shop and whenever I see like Christmassy cat toys they're always in the typical red and green and I want something that's like pink or neutral and this gonk one is like beige and white and it's just my kind of colours so I really want to try and get my hands on one of them for Bella because I think she'd really like it oh and I don't know if I said already but my previous vlog is actually going to be going live today so excited for you guys to see that video I actually filmed it um last month so about two weeks ago so that's why it's got like a little bit of festive content in there but it's not a, but it's not officially a festive vlog um so that video is going to be going live um I think at some point this afternoon or um early evening most likely because today is monday so i don't have a huge amount of christmas decorations it's just a couple of bits and bobs but it really does make a difference to my room so i just keep my decorations on top of my wardrobe in a ted baker box i'm gonna go ahead and get that down now and we'll have a look for everything right i think it's probably i think they're probably in the box at the back. These are all of my Harry Potter wands. I've got five. I love Harry Potter. So I think this first box is my Harry Potter box. So I actually bought some um, pin badges off Vinted uh, the other week. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop them in this box. I love collecting Harry Potter pins and keyrings and these are stunning. Um, this one I've wanted for a while it's a it's a little stamp so it's got the hogwarts castle and then this one is james and lily potter's gravestone these are some really nice pins to add to my collection might as well show you guys my favorite wand i have uh mostly fantastic beast wands. they just look so much better than the original harry potter wand and the packaging is just so much lovelier too so this is the wand how 
beautiful is this? Let's actually get these Christmas decorations down. They should be in this box. Right, so I've actually taken my nails off because they were really annoying me. So, oh my god, <laughs> this makes me so happy. Look at my little Christmas tree <gasps> and all the little deers. So, so, so cute. Oh, I've got some, um, here's my gift tags. Oh, and I've got some cards left over from, I didn't even use these last year. I don't think I used them back in 2021. Did I, have I even opened these? I don't think I even used these. Okay, well, here's my Christmas cards for this year. I got these from um Habitat back in 20 back in 2021 when I was working at the RSPCA charity shop. I actually watched that vlog this morning. Um and I thought I used these cards, but I didn't. So yeah, these are my Christmas cards for this year. Perfect. Here is my lantern. So this is oops, this is from IKEA. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the handle. I didn't notice until I got to the checkout and I think the guy was like, oh, it's missing the handle. And I was like, oh, don't worry about it, it's fine. But this is so cute, and I've got some tea lights to go in here. So this is gonna go up here. So I just put that there for now. And then I've got my little oops and i've got my little christmas tree i mean it's not in the best condition because each year i feel like it gets more dented but i got this from primark a couple of years ago this reindeer i want to use this one is a plastic one i might have got this from poundland but this one which i do really like as well this one was probably also from poundland i think i got most of these from poundland i don't think i'm going to use this one because uh, this one you do have to, well you don't have to, but it's for a tea light, which is quite cute, but I don't think I'm going to use that one. This one is so sweet, but the tail is damaged. I can't remember how that happened. I think it was from one year of me storing it in the box and the tail got damaged, but this one is so cute. really like Diz, if you didn't know. Here's my little pumpkin for Halloween. This was what I was supposed to get out and replace the uh, pineapple with, but I forgot. I don't really think I have anything else to take out, really. Oh, I've got some tissue paper. Oh, okay, I'll leave that out as well. <laughs> and i've got my stocking um i usually put my stocking on the end of my bed but i don't think i'm gonna bother with that i've got my christmas sack i love this i think i got this off amazon but this is just my christmas sack it's got my name on it and um, obviously it's got reindeer uh, i don't need this this year i haven't used this in a couple of years i don't think but that is really cute though and then i've got a gift bag which will probably come in handy um, so I think I'll leave this out as well and I'll probably use that this year when I do my gift wrapping. So I think I'm going to do my gift wrapping next weekend, I think. So this can go with all my gift wrapping stuff. And then over here I have all my decorations. So there isn't many, there's only a few, but these little touches will make a big difference. And I think I might also use this as well so it is actually a i think it's called a diffuser you put water in it and i've got these sticks and you like plug it in and it like the stuff comes out the top and you can put essential oils and stuff in there i don't think a diffuser is the right word i can't remember what it's called but i won't be using it for that um i think i'll just use it as a bit of decoration because it is a reindeer so I've been so excited to show you guys the. I made another order from the same candle company. I got that candle up there from. Oh, this bag smells so good. This is the name of the brand. I have her um, shop linked in the description. So we'll open the big candles first. I actually got two candles this time. Um, so I don't know which one is which. The packaging is super cute as always i saw that she had a i think it was called cinnamon orange scented candle and i messaged her and i said is there any chance you could swap out one of the unscented tea lights and pop in one of the scented ones just so that i could um try it because when it comes to candles i love how they look when they're burning i find them very relaxing and very cozy um but it would be nice to have that option of having the candle that is Scented. So cinnamon orange sounded like a pretty good scent and it smells pretty good. So I'll show you guys the tea lights in a bit and I can't wait to burn them. So yeah, I've got two big candles. So these are the three wick ones. Um, I think she also does single wick candles as well, which are obviously smaller. I've always wanted one of these. It's so nice to have a fresh candle. So this one is unscented and with the wood ones, they do crackle. 
so I can't wait to light this. And then this candle, I won't open it because it is exactly the same as the candle up there. So these are my tea lights. So in here I have the unscented one. So I think there should be 12. I love the presentation of everything, it's so nice. So in here I've got 12 unscented tea lights and these are quite big tea lights as well. So when I messaged her, um, she said that she would actually include an extra scented candle, which I think was very, very, very nice of her. Bella's just uh, sniffing the candles. Are you enjoying that, Bella? She's having a proper sniff. Look how wet she is. Bella? <laughs> She's licking the tissue paper. So I'm really, really, really happy with these. Like I said, I'll have her shop linked in a description. Um, I love being able to support a small business as well. I'm all for supporting small businesses, um, especially at this time of year. So um, yeah, if you're looking for some natural handmade soy candles, definitely go ahead and check out their shop. So now it's time to decorate my room. Got to mention earlier that I've got my favourite snuggliest jumper on. I absolutely love this jumper. I think I probably got it back in maybe 2017 or maybe even before that. Um, so it's from Primark but I got it from the one in central London when I was with Lily. I think we might have been doing our annual Christmas meetup or something and this is one of my favourite jumpers. I love wearing it every winter especially when I want to feel snug and cosy. It just feels so soft. It's a beautiful soft material and it feels quite good quality for Primark. It's lasted so 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 well and the thing I love about this material is that it doesn't bubble um, and yeah it's just a really nice long snug jumper. I love pairing this jumper with either um, some leggings or some baggy jeans. So I've just got these jeans on today. I think these are my new ones. So these are my new ones from Stradivarius. I love these jeans so much. Um, and yeah, so I'm just in my comfiest outfit for today. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere. So that's a cinnamon orange tea light candle in there. I'll let you know what I think of the smell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these boxes back on top of my wardrobe. And then I've got some stuff from Lush, which I'm so excited about because this box smells so good. And I've got something from the body shop and also something from Catnip. So let's bring these over here so we can unbox them. And there's also a couple of things in here, which are also some gifts for people. So for one of my work colleagues, um, I've got her this rhubarb and coconut luxury vegetable soap. This is by the English Soap Company and she actually asks for this. She loves her solid soap and they are making my drawer smell amazing. So this one is pineapple and pink lotus and then for my niece i've got her this skinny dip raspberry ripple shower gel and she is gonna love this i also got her the matching body mist which looks like this and i got her this body mist as well and the packaging for these is just adorable so hopefully she likes them and then for my sister um, I mentioned this in my last vlog that I got her the body shop drops of life I think one's a face wash and one's a serum so my sister loves these and unfortunately the body shop discontinued them this year so I actually found these on Vinted and she's going to be so 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 happy with these and Vinted is the perfect place to look for stuff that have been discontinued so just like my body shop face mask I got this off Vinted because it's been discontinued and I actually got this off Vinted as well and you can obviously get stuff a lot cheaper on Vinted a lot of the time than you can from body shop so yeah so those are all the gifts I have to show you guys in here and then um let me dig through and find the other little gifts so i got two of these ted baker um gift sets so these are basically body sprays if i'm correct yeah so there's three body sprays annoyingly one of them is turned around and i think it's like that in this box as well so these are for my nephews i usually get them a link set but i thought this year i'll upgrade a bit and get them each a ted baker set i love 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 
Ted Baker. I've also got this phone charger for, well, portable charger for my friend um, April. I did tell her that she can't watch this vlog. Um, she knows she's getting this. This was actually on her Christmas list. And then I've got these nails, which I'm gonna give to my niece. Like I said before, I've pretty much done my Christmas shopping. Um, I might get some people some more little bits and bobs if I feel like I haven't got them enough. But do you ever have like a little collection of stuff that you don't really like or you know you won't use and you feel like it can be regifted to someone else? So I've got a little pouch of things that I'm going to include as like extra gifts for people. So obviously I've already bought their present. I honestly wouldn't mind if someone done this to me, if they were giving me something that they didn't want but they know I would love because then it's not going to waste. So um, I had these nails in my collection, but I'm going to go ahead and give these to my niece. Because although these are really pretty, when I had a look at the pack of nails inside, they're all white. And I don't like white nails, but my niece does. So she's going to love these. They're really pretty, but... I just don't understand why these are the only coloured ones. So I'll show you the other little goodies in this bag. So I've got this set of earrings and these are from ASOS. I actually got this pack in gold and I wore the gold one but I never wore the silver one. I'm more of a gold earring kind of girl. And then I added two gold earrings up here. Um, these ones were from Sheen but they're very similar to the earrings that I have in. And I think these ones are gold plated. They're from Ana Luisa. Um, so I thought I didn't need two earrings that look very similar. So I'll give these to my niece because she wears silver jewellery. I've got this little Ted Baker hand cream. Ted Baker's a really nice brand but I know I'm just not going to use this and then I've got three um body shop little shower gels so I've got um two grapefruit ones and one in British Rose and I love the body shop shower gels but I don't like these scents so this is what the grapefruit one looks like and then this is what the British Rose one looks like and then I've also got a British Rose hand cream I love the body shop hand cream so I've actually got one in my drawer I've always got one in my drawer um so this is the hemp one and I love this stuff they recently changed the packaging but this is like my favorite hand cream I'm going to use a bit now because my hands are so dry and then lastly we've got this um face cream this is from Boots I actually bought the um face wash and I bought this at the same time and the face wash had a bit of a floral smell which I wasn't a fan of I did use the face wash up um but obviously I didn't use the face cream um but this is what it looks like and it's just by the brand botanics but I think this might be a boots brand I can't quite remember but this is um a hydrating day cream with SPF 15 and it's got a bit of hibiscus in there as well so this is my little pouch of stuff that i don't want but someone else will love and i think it's just a really nice way to re-gift stuff to someone else that's actually hopefully going to um to use it on top of the stuff that i've like already gotten them because i really 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 hate things going to waste i really don't like it i always try and find someone else that will take something like my mum or my sister if i've got any like bath and body products i don't want i usually just end up giving it to them too or like my niece or something or if there's any clothes that I don't want anymore um I either try and sell it on Vinted or I just donate it to the charity shop yeah just hate 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 things going to waste and I did a little declutter of my drawer I went through my wardrobe and I went through my drawers my two drawers in my wardrobe and I went through my drawers in my um mound drawers as well and I just organized all my clothes so let me just move this out of the way Okay, so I think we'll do the um, Lush one last and we'll open these two first. So this one is by a brand called Catnip and I'm so, so, so excited to open this up. So Catnip is a small illustration business run by this really lovely lady called Catherine. She has a YouTube channel, so she has her business one called Catnip where she does her studio vlogs and she's got another channel called Catherine K which is more personal stuff like vlogs and she travels around. She's a big Disney fan and she loves Harry Potter. She loves all things pink and cute. So if that's your kind of thing, you will love her channel. She's so sweet and so bubbly and I've been wanting to order something from her shop for years so on my friend April's Christmas list she asked for a seasonal bookmark so she loves her books so I was originally going to get her a nice Christmassy or winter one but I couldn't find one that I liked so I went for a spring themed gift tag 
gift tag um bookmark sorry and i also got one for myself but i might give them both to april not too sure yet and i also ordered her a christmas card and i love the little stickers because it tells you who packed it so this was packed by mike and oh my god the packaging you guys so 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 cute they put so much thought and effort into their small business oh and i forgot she puts these little um thank you cards i've got one of the autumnal ones with i think he i think his name is pudding pudding the dog um if i'm correct oh my god this is so 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 cute so i got an autumn one because i received this parcel last month so now they obviously would have changed their christmas ones but it says have a gorgeous day oh my god that's so cute look at that and then on the back is just a little thank you card i will be keeping this so these are the bookmarks they're a little bit smaller than i thought but they feel so buttery smooth so we got this one with bumble butt which is the little bee and he's just sleeping in a flower and then when you turn it around you've got a design on the back and it says catnip at the bottom and then we got this one with bumble butt once again and this is really 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 cute oh uh, and then there's the back but one thing i'll have to say about this one is that it's not cut very well on the edges i don't know if you can see that so that's the top and that's the bottom so it's not cut the best i might be able to use my um, little corner cutter and shape that a little bit better these feel such good quality because they're not just like paper it feels like plastic I don't know what she makes her bookmarks out of, but these are so sweet. I hope April likes these. And then this is the card that I got her. So this is Peppermint the cat. Me and April both love cats, hence why I went for this card. And it says Meowy Christmas. So cute. And yeah, it is Peppermint the cat. But I just love that she has her own characters. So these are all the bits that I got from Catnip. These are adorable. Next, I think we'll open up the parcel that I got from the body shop so i ordered this last month and i am still waiting for another parcel to arrive and hopefully nothing's missing because this bit is a little bit open which is why i think they put that elastic band on there so hopefully nothing's missing from this box so let's go ahead and open this up but i love 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 getting stuff from the body shop for gifts because you can't go wrong <laughs> With the body shot i can't remember who all of these are for actually i think i do know who all of these are for so i think i ordered the cherries and cheer shower gel for my sister this is one of their new festive scents so every year they usually bring out two scents so one is a pear one can't remember what it's called but the other one is this one and i went into the store to see if they had any of the body mist because it was sold out online and i wanted to get it for my friend april because it was on her christmas list and they said in store that it was completely sold out in store and it won't be restocked so yeah that was really sad so i smelt the spray and the shower gel and i thought it smelled really good so i bought myself a shower gel um in store and i've used it a couple of times and it smells amazing so in the second body shop order i ordered myself another shower gel i think i got myself a gift set with a shower gel and a body butter and i ordered some solid soaps as well hopefully this is all making sense but i think i ordered this for my sister and she did actually say she needs some new shower gels and stuff. I always like getting her bath and body stuff for Christmas. Got two of them. So one's for my sister and one is for April. And then I got this strawberry shower gel for someone. This is one of my all-time favourite scents. Love the strawberry. And I also got them this mango one as well because I got this for Christmas last year. And mango was never... And this mango shower gel was never one of the shower gels I thought I would like or care to try. But it's really, really, really good. It kind of smells a little bit like Starburst. It's not, it's a bit sweet, but it's not sickly. And to be honest, it doesn't really smell like mango. But it's just a really nice, fresh, sweet shower gel. Definitely recommend trying it. So I got these two for the same person. And then I got two body mist so i got this white musk one for my mum and the body shop has been doing a bit of rebranding um for the last year or so i think for the last two years they started rebranding and they've made everything vegan so like the packaging for all of these have changed and the formula for a lot of their products have changed so the white musk um spray actually smells different i don't know if you can even see 
that too well but this actually smells um different because they've made it vegan and a lot of people have complained it's a bit annoying that they changed the body butters as well and not, there's no more almond milk and honey it's just almond milk um because honey is not vegan so it's a bit of a shame that they have changed their products but i think my mum will still like this this was her all-time favorite scent but i'm sure she'll still like this anyway and then i got this hemp hand cream and this is for one of my work colleagues because she loves the hemp hand cream. so that was everything that i got from body shop next moving on to lush i am so 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 excited about this parcel so i had to order this online because we don't have a lush in our town anymore so i wanted to get my friend april some gifts from lush because that was on her christmas list and i was gonna wait until we went to central london but i don't know when that's gonna be so i thought i'll just play it safe and order some stuff online for her and i also got two things for myself as well so i think i spent just under 50 pounds for all of this and yeah so let's buy <laughs> let's find the product this is very messy so i think this is for april so i believe this is the snow fairy bath bomb oh my god this smells amazing i'm not a fan of snow fairy like i think it's the shower gel i don't like i think i do like the um bath bomb and the wand but on her christmas list she just said anything snow fairy this smells really 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 nice i think i might like one of these for myself actually this is so messy you guys and I actually expected this to be bigger. So compared to um, the body shop, it's practically like the same size. And these are like £8. And this is £14. It's like double the price. It's so bloody expensive. But it is a gift. So obviously I don't mind spending that amount of money on getting something for someone. Especially if it's something they've asked for. But it's just crazy how expensive Lush is. The price for the Snow Fairy Bath was £5.50. So I think I can see the next um snow fairy product so it's a little fairy and this pretty much smells exactly the same as that bath bomb so that fairy there the groovy fairy was three pound 75 i think this is for april as well so i think this is the snow fairy bubble bar and this one was seven pounds i swear these used to be so much bigger years ago and so these are all the bits that i got for april she's gonna love this stuff this is one of my all-time favorite bath bombs and they've actually changed it and there's a bit of plastic sticking out of there can you guys see that that's literally a piece of plastic sticking out this just brings back so many memories i love that they still sell the twilight bath bomb because it smells amazing it definitely does look different now that i'm looking at it and obviously the bottom is different too but it still smells just as amazing as it always does and this one when you pop it in the bath um the inside is blue and sparkly it's just so 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 dreamy i don't know how to describe the scent of this and the snow fairy it smells like bubble gum basically that's the best way to put it, it smells like bubble gum and then the last product I got for myself, this one is called Cinnamon Roll Bubble Bar. So this was also £7 and my Twilight bath bomb was £5. And you can smell the cinnamon from here. If you guys, um, I don't know if any of you ever had this as a child, but they were called, I think, Fire Bombs. I don't know if that's what they were called, but they were little round red sweets. I don't think i knew this as a child but they were cinnamon flavored so obviously it kind of like burns your mouth a little bit and this smells just like that i mean it doesn't smell how i expected it to smell but it's not it's not a bad smell i'm really excited to to use this but yeah this has just brought back some um childhood memory here's just an overview of all the products so i pulled out the plastic and it's actually quite a long bit of plastic <laughs> that came out of there hopefully there isn't any more in the bath bomb um but i think this is from the mold that they use so luckily i do have some of these um paper bags and hopefully the bath bombs will fit in there oh they do that's perfect so i can wrap these up nicely for um april so they don't get messy and go everywhere and then for mine i will just put them in a resealable bag that's the best way to keep your bath bombs fresh i don't understand people who just like put them loosely into a drawer especially if they do that in their bathroom because it's just going to um ruin them and you spent 
all that money on bath bombs to just not store them properly. Right, I really need to tidy my room, so I'm gonna pop my camera on charge while I sort out all of this mess, and um, I'll probably put all of these bits into my um, into this bag. So as you guys can see, I haven't got a huge amount of gifts for everyone. I've pretty much shown you guys all the gifts that I've gotten for people apart from Brandon. I haven't shown you guys his main gift um, just in case he watches my video. Um, but I haven't got too much more to give to people. So I did say in my last vlog I didn't really go too crazy with like the gifting and everything for everyone. I've kept it quite simple. Um, I've kept it quite simple this year but I've gotten people things they uh, really want or stuff that they have actually asked for which is the main thing. I have never actually tried skims before and I always had high expectations but when I so I've just got a bit of Gemma Louise Miles on once again Christmas in the background I've been loving her videos let me turn that down a little bit just changed into my comfy night clothes and I found that Lush included this in their parcel which is really really handy so it just explains how to use their products and it also has a list of the ingredients and the twilight i couldn't remember what it smelled like but it's lavender um i'm not usually a huge fan of lavender like scented things however this is very slightly scented with lavender and it's just a really nice relaxing scent so i still need to go ahead and sort through everything i think i'm gonna take out all the presents that i've got for everyone so far and just like put them in piles so that i can see how everything looks in a way well, actually i won't be able to do that because everyone's chocolates and stuff are in the cupboard in the kitchen and i'm not getting them out so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and tidy all of this up and squeeze everything all into this bag <laughs> stuff like that and I'm kind of trying to not buy stuff today so I've completely cleared out this drawer which I started storing Christmas stuff in she's gonna jump up <laughs> I've started putting well I put all of my Christmas stuff into that bag there I've also wrapped up my bath bombs so I do have some in my oh I think I have some one actually this is the cream candy bubble bar I'll leave those in there for now my tea lights burning really nicely and it does smell really good I love the smell of it so it's my favorite time of the day where I get to take off my makeup as you guys know I love having a fresh face honestly the feeling of taking your eyelashes off is one of the best Feelings in the entire world. So I've got you guys propped up on my tripod and I'm just hoping my camera doesn't fall. Hopefully this angle isn't too annoying. Um, the reason why I've decided to pop you guys up there is so that I can actually see in my mirror. Normally I open my cabinet and pop you guys on the shelf but then that means I can't actually see what I'm doing and I do want to be able to talk to you guys while I take off my makeup. And I have got Bella in the bathroom with me so if you can hear any noises in the background it's just my cat. She likes to follow me everywhere. And most of the time when I'm in the bathroom, she's in the bathroom, isn't it Bella? Right, so I wanna get through my skincare quickly because I've got my dinner on. I'm just having some chicken, some rice and some veg and that's gonna be ready in about 15 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna start off by using my Body Shop Calamar Cleansing Butter. You guys know I love this stuff. I bought a new tub last week. It's just amazing at removing my makeup. I just scoop a little bit out and rub it in between my hands. Basically just an oil and then I just rub that all over my face and it basically breaks down all of my makeup and you can get your makeup off really nice and quickly so while i'm doing this i'll talk to you guys about my skincare routine because it has actually changed so in my last video i mentioned to you guys that i had signed up to skin and me so i paid for this subscription myself it's not sponsored but i do have a discount code and i'll put it on screen now and you can also add on one of their moisturizers cleansers and the sunscreen um, i have actually tried out all three of those products so i'll let you know what i think of them in a little bit yeah as you can see this stuff literally breaks up all of my makeup i love using a face sponge um i've been using them for a few years now and they're really good you can get them in primark i think the one i'm currently using is from 
super drugs and I've just got a couple of them and I just pop them in the wash at the end of the week. I like to keep my reusable cotton pads in here. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these Body Shop ones. Um, I have some from Amazon in here, but I recently started using the Body Shop ones and they're so, so, so much softer. I think you get a total of seven and they've got the days of the week on there. So this is Saturday, but it's not Saturday, it's actually Monday. So then I like to take this and my micellar cleansing water. Um, mine is almost finished. I love this stuff. Some people use this as their first step in removing their makeup, but you're just gonna go through so much of this. So I'm gonna use this to basically remove any sort of remaining traces of makeup. So before I started using Skin and Me, I always used to use my micellar water after my um, cleanser to just remove any bits of like remaining traces of makeup because to me that made much more sense. Um, however, since using Skin and Me, um, you can actually talk to dermatologists. You can you can easily contact them if you have any skincare questions. And um, I basically sent them over my skincare routine and I was told that I should be using my micellar water before I wash my face because it's actually really good to wash this product off your face. So when I do this step, I only use one cotton pad or one reusable cotton pad. Um, and then I go on to using my cleanser. So I'm gonna be using the Skin and Me cleanser. So I'll show you that in just a second. But I just love, love, love having a clean face at the end of the day. I don't know how people go to bed with their makeup on. Does it not go all over your pillow? And what do you sleep on that same pillow again? I don't know, the thought of it just sounds really gross. So as you can see, that is all the dirt and makeup I have just got off my face. So this is the Skin and Me Cleanser. So this is the Purify and Prep Hydrating Cleanser and it's a gentle cream cleanser. How many times can I say cleanser? They have two different types. This one I think is for combination skin if I'm correct. So when you squeeze it out, it just looks like that. It's such a good cleanser and it really is lovely and gentle on the skin. It just feels lovely on the skin and you can feel that it is quite moisturising as well. Normally my skincare routine probably takes about 15 to 20 minutes. This is normally one of the first things I do when I get home from work because I can't really sit around with a dirty face of makeup. So while I'm waiting for my face to dry a little bit, I'm just going to apply a bit of my lip balm because by this point my lips are feeling a little bit dry because I've literally washed everything off my entire face. So next I'm going to go in with the Skin and Me Soothe and Smooth Light Moisturiser. So this has hyaluronic acid, this is what it looks like and they also have two moisturisers. This is the lighter moisturiser but they also have a thick one as well. So my skin type used to be oily and then it went a little bit combination, especially around my mouth area like here sometimes my eyebrows sometimes my eyelids and also the corners of my nose it can get a little bit dry so i usually like to wait a couple of minutes before applying my daily doser so i actually have two daily doses and there's a bit of a story behind that so my first daily dose consisted of three ingredients so i'll show you the packaging first so this is what the daily doser looks like if you've never seen it before and if you've never heard of skin and me it's basically a prescription formulated especially for your skincare needs so you basically import your skincare issues and what you would want to resolve and they basically tailor a formula especially for your skin and if you have any questions or any issues about your daily dose you can just contact them and they can change the ingredients etc etc so in my first daily dose I'm gonna butcher these names but the first ingredient was taurine I don't know I'll pop it on screen niacinamide and azalic acid and my friend April has tried skin and me and I showed her what my ingredients were and the first ingredient she goes oh they use that in acne products and she said it can be quite harsh on the skin so I used this for about two three nights because you have to use your daily doser at night and my skin was fine and then I think the fourth and fifth night my face was absolutely burning so she said contact them because my face was literally so red after applying this doser and even in the morning like my face was so sensitive so I contacted them and they changed my 
um, prescription and then they sent me this one. So they took out the first ingredient. However, me being me, wanted to work out why this was suddenly irritating my skin when it wasn't irritating my skin at first. And I realized it was probably because of the face wash and the face cream I was using. So I, um, the only face wash I have at the moment because my other one was finished, I used to use the Garnier one, is this Revolution. Um, it's this Revolution product, which is normally absolutely fine with my skin. There's only a little bit left, but um, I feel like this isn't a very good combo. Um, and then as well, my L'Oreal Paris Night Cream. This just seems to burn my face now. And if I use this and this together, it's, it's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my daily dose now. So like I said, you apply this at night and you twist it till you hear the click and it basically squeezes out the correct amount to use on your face. So the azalic acid is is really good at fighting inflammation. It reduces redness and treating spots caused by acne or rosacea. Um, it's also helped to slow down the production of melanin, which helps to fight pigmentation caused by sun damage and acne. And it's also got exfoliating properties. So where I have, so where my skin is quite prone to spots because my skin is quite oily, I have a lot of um, dark spots. So hyperpigmentation, which is like scarring of the spots basically. So that helps with that. And the tetraronin, however you pronounce that, um, it basically works to accelerate new skin cell growth, speeding up the removal of dead skin cells and debris that cause blocked pores, which is what can cause like spots and stuff to start with it also works to repair sun damaged cells and boost the production of collagen so collagen is really good that's the stuff that keeps your skin nice and youthful it uh, also helps to treat acne um, making pores appear less visible i have quite large pores and um, fine lines and wrinkles texture and pigmentation so one of my skincare concerns was texture my face is quite textured so that was why they put that product in there this isn't like sponsored or anything i've literally paid for these products myself and with my second daily dose because the first one was irritating my skin. They actually very quickly changed my prescription and sent me out another doser for free. And there's actually one more thing, which is quite important. So they recommend using a SPF um, in the morning. I was really happy I got to try out the Skin of Me one because it's amazing and I will be buying the full size. And they recommend you use this in the morning, especially if you're using um, the daily dose. So this is what the sunscreen looks like. And when you put it on, it's just like applying a regular moisturizer. It doesn't leave your skin looking white or anything like that. It just goes, it just sinks into your skin nicely. So yeah, if you're looking for a good sunscreen, I definitely recommend uh, the Skin of Me one. You can actually purchase the sunscreen, cleanser and moisturiser without having a prescription. The only thing is you have to buy them separately, which is annoying, and then you have to pay $1.99 postage per thing, um, but you can actually buy the skincare products without um, subscribing to get the daily doser. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little skincare chat. I'm gonna go ahead and dish my dinner out and, I, and I'm and i actually batch cooking for the week as well. I do that every Monday. I batch cook for, I think about three days of work. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and sort that out. And then I'll probably get into bed, play a bit of Animal Crossing and I might watch a Christmas film or some kind of film tonight because I haven't watched a film in a little while. morning you guys tuesday morning and i'm just getting ready um for work today i don't really like tuesdays at work because we get um these two big deliveries which come on pallets and sometimes we can have like three to five pallets and it's just such a busy manic day we've got to like bring all the deliveries in and then we've got to bring a lot of the stock upstairs and then we spend the day putting stuff on the shelves and you know Tuesdays are always really busy days and today is supposed to rain a lot so bringing deliveries in when it's raining is definitely not fun at all um so yeah it's gonna be a really busy day and i can't wait to get home so i didn't um end my vlog yesterday because i was thinking maybe i'll watch a christmas film or maybe i'll play a bit of animal crossing but i didn't end up doing either of those and um, i can't remember what i ended up doing i think i was just watching youtube videos or something and then it got really late and then i went to bed so i thought i would 
continue to vlog on a little bit this morning because I never really film before work because I'm usually in such a rush. But I just thought I would talk you through my morning skincare because yesterday I showed you my evening skincare. So this is probably going to change a little bit. I'll just show you what I've chosen to use this morning. So today I'm going to use my Revolution face wash because I'm trying to use this up. There's literally the tiniest amount left in here. So let's use a little bit of that now. I can't remember if I ordered the Skin and Me moisturiser or the face wash. I think I might have ordered the moisturiser. So today I'll order the um face wash and then i should have them maybe by this week or next week so i'm just going to pop a little bit of lip balm on um i always like to apply some lip balm after i've washed my face because my lips just feel a little bit dry after i do actually wear makeup to work but it's just very simple um quick minimal makeup it probably takes me about um, maybe 10 to 20 minutes to do my makeup so the moisturizer i'm going to use today is the number seven um essential moisture day fluid it's quite a nice moisturizer then i'm going to go in with my skin and me sunscreen and i love this product it's so good so when you squeeze it out it does look a little bit intimidating it is like a a uh, pale yellow colour. So I just put a little bit of that on my face, might use a tiny bit more. And it just feels like you're rubbing in a moisturiser. So you do have to rub it in just a tiny bit more um, than you would with like your regular moisturiser. If you have any recommendation, recommendations, recommendations for sunscreens, then um, please let me know. So that is my morning skincare routine. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because my SD card is about to run out of space and I'm just gonna rush to get ready and head out to work. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next week for my second festive vlog, which will probably be me wrapping all of um, my Christmas presents because I wanna get that done. Um, either Sunday or Monday because those are my days off. I'll probably end up doing it maybe Monday. I don't know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not sure because I should be seeing Brandon um, this Saturday after work, fingers crossed, because I haven't seen him since we went to the Shard a month ago. But yeah, my camera's flashing, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go now. Sorry for the abrupt ending, but I'll see you guys in next week's video. So bye for now, guys. <laughs>